Welcome to the Kellogg's Pringles plant in Jackson. We're just one of the many facilities in Kellogg's North American Manufacturing Network. Kellogg produces some of the world's best loved foods. Billions of customers have come to trust our brand because of our dedication to quality and food safety. Great food and great people are essential ingredients to our success. The health of our people and the quality and safety of our food are job one. While you're visiting our facility, your well-being is vitally important to us. To ensure your safety, the safety of our people, and the quality of our product, we must ask you to observe a few important rules and procedures. All visitors must sign in and out. You will be provided a visitor's badge, which must be fastened securely at waist level and visible at all times. You'll be escorted by your Pringles host. It's very important that you follow all instructions and stay with them during your visit. Your host will point out our emergency evacuation maps. In the event of an emergency, follow them to the proper evacuation location. Depending on the purpose of your visit and the area you travel to, you may be provided personal protective equipment. For visitors going to the manufacturing floor or warehouses, this will include a bump cap, steel toe boots, hairnets and or beard nets, safety glasses, and hearing protection. Hairnets must cover all hair no matter how little hair you have and must also cover the ears. Beard covers must fully cover the beard and mustache when visible growth is present. Sandals or heels in excess of two inches are only allowed from the plant guard entrances to the locker rooms where they must be changed. Closed toed shoes are required in office areas and safe walkways. Smoking is only allowed in site designated smoking areas. Chewing tobacco, smokeless tobacco, alcohol, toothpicks, chewing gum, and firearms are not allowed anywhere on the Jackson site or parking lot. The use of photographic equipment without a camera permit is prohibited. That includes all cell phones. Cell phones shall not be used on the manufacturing floor, in the warehouse, or in any utility room. It is important that you walk at all times. Running and horseplay is not permitted. When sitting in chairs, all legs of the chair must be on the floor. When moving around the facility, be sure to only use normal sized doors. We call them pedestrian doors. Using these will help avoid moving machinery and other potential hazards. When a motor vehicle approaches, no one has the right of way. You should make eye contact with the driver and then determine the right of way. It's important that you watch where you're going. Read and obey all traffic laws and signs. This includes posted speeds, railroad crossings, and pedestrian crossings. In areas with specific walk paths, stay on the marked walkways and use overhead mirrors to spot oncoming traffic around corners. To prevent slips and falls, be sure to hold handrails when going up and down stairs. You should keep three points of contact at all times. Since your visit may take you close to heavy machinery with fast moving parts, it's important that you don't wear loose fitted clothing that could become entangled. This includes untucked shirt tails, tattered or unbuttoned sleeves, scarves, ties, capes, or hoods. To ensure your personal safety and the safety of our food, do not climb, stand, or sit on equipment or machinery. Never reach into operating equipment or touch moving parts. And please, don't touch any food, whether it's raw materials or finished product. As tempting as it may be, you must not handle or eat any finished product coming off the line. This manufacturing site does have ingredients that contain whey and dairy products. If you are allergic to these ingredients, please inform your host. Food safety requires constant vigilance against contaminants. Anything that's not on our list of ingredients is considered a contaminant. To ensure contaminants do not end up in our food products, no type of jewelry can be worn in manufacturing, warehouse, laboratory, or product reclaim areas. While on the manufacturing floor, do not store or carry anything above the waist. This includes pencils, pens, pagers, and so forth. Band-Aids are not permitted on the manufacturing floor unless clearance is received from health services or first responder. If you have a cut, scratch, or other wound, your Kellogg host will provide you with a special bandage to cover them. Fingernails should be clean and properly trimmed. 
If you have polished or false nails, you must wear gloves while in specific areas. Hand lotions are not allowed when contacting product or touching any surface the product comes in contact with. Perfumed hand lotions are prohibited in the manufacturing areas. Hand washing is vitally important to food safety. Hands must be washed and sanitized each time you enter the production area and any time you move through transition zones. They must also be washed after every visit to the restroom, designated smoking area, or any time you expect to come in contact with food or food utensils. Thorough hand washing involves warm water, at least 20 seconds of scrubbing, and a proper drying technique. After you've washed and dried your hands, you should then apply sanitizer. We hope you realize how important having clean hands are to food safety. As a part of our food safety program, our manufacturing floor is separated into two distinct zones, raw and ready to eat. To ensure that no contaminants are tracked into the manufacturing area or transferred between zones, all employees and visitors are required to follow our hygienic zoning standards. All employees and visitors must use a lint roller to remove lint and hair from clothing before entering the manufacturing floor. After dressing in PPE, you must remove any loose debris from your shoes by running them through the bristled shoe cleaners. Next, it is essential that you wash your hands with soap and warm water, then you should sanitize your shoes in the boot mat. Lastly, you should apply sanitizer to your hands. Once you are on the manufacturing floor and you wish to transition from raw to ready to eat areas, you are required to clean your shoes, sanitize your hands, and sanitize your shoes again before entering ready to eat. This is not required when traveling from ready to eat to raw areas. By following these hygienic zoning standards, you will help ensure the safety of our product. Kellogg's is counting on you to meet the same high standards we expect from our own people. This helps ensure the quality of our products and your safety. At Kellogg, we are committed to protecting the earth and its resources. We closely monitor our water and energy use and the amount of waste we produce. We're proud to be environmentally friendly and are always looking for ways of reducing our environmental impact. You can help us by using the marked recycling bins and turning off any unneeded lights. By now I'm sure you've realized how important your safety and the safety of our product is to us. If you have any questions or concerns, please speak with your Pringles host. Thanks for being here and we hope you have a great visit.